I want to tell you a story. All you have to do is listen. begins. I want to tell you a story. All you have to do is listen. There's nothing you can do. He's coming. I'm afraid you're not asleep this time. You've been recruited. We three, we're all alone. Living in me. a memory. We'll never walk in darkness. My echo, my shadow. And me. We three, we're not a crowd. We're not even company. My echo, my shadow, and me. What good is the moonlight, the silvery moonlight that shines above? I walk with my shadow, I talk with my echo, but where is the one I love? We three will wait for you. Even till eternity, my echo, my shadow, and me. We three, we're all alone. Seem like we're living in a memory. That's my echo. I am the light of the world. world. And me. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We three, we no crowd. Thank you. We need come. That's my echo. My shadow. And me. You know, I've been wondering what good is the moonlight? That silvery moonlight that shines way, way up above. Yeah, I walk with my shadow, I talk with my echo, but where is that gal that I love? We three will wait for you, even till eternity. My echo, my shadow, and me. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? EVERYONE!
I'll be right there to have a little conversation with you. But before... of them obey and um, accept one. There is nothing that, that can take the pain away. Azazil. But eventually you will find a way to live with it. nightmares and every day when you wake up it'll be the first thing you think about until one day it will be the second thing do you know that this unique festival is observed after an interval of every 12 years in India the Kumbh Mela of the year 2019 was the largest peaceful gathering the world had ever witnessed. Around 50 million people attended this event, and here we could witness one of the most bizarre and mysterious types of saints in the world. These saints, who are heavily armed with trident and other weapons, live in the caves of the Himalayas. They come out to the world every 12 years. They are famously known as Naga Sadhus. They worship Lord Shiva as their primary deity, and are known to possess many supernatural powers beyond the capability of an ordinary human being. They have successfully activated their kundalini energy and developed their minds and bodies to almost a superhuman level. But they don't wish to live within the society for long. As soon as their religious duty is over, they return to their abodes in the remote Himalayas to spend their lives with their beloved Shiva. These saints who are heavily armed with trident and other weapons, these saints who are heavily armed with trident and From the dawn of time we came moving silently down through the centuries, living many secret lives. No one has ever known we were among you. Until now. <laughs> You have no idea what's going on. So, Ceausescu told me to land right away. Where, I said, in the military air base nearby? No, he told me, near the road. Then he looked at me and he asked me for the third time, are you serving the cause? So I answered, what cause? Hello to you all. Uh, this is a different kind of video, information, uh, and this will take a minute or five, and I'm introducing something to you called the blue fog, the blue fog. Uh, the blue fog is a department within the cause, and as you know, the cause is a big place. Like I told you before, this scheme, organizational scheme that I've shown you, uh, at the time, I've shown you this like 10 years ago, was only 10% of what the cause is. Right now, what you see is like 1% because the cause grew a lot. So, so what's the Blue Fog department within the cause? That, uh, you have to wait one or two years for me to explain to you what the Blue Fog Department is. Hmm? But in the meantime, I can tell you a few things about the Blue Fog. 
the blue fog department is the department that decides which videos information I'm supposed to put out to show to you about alien races the cause about me carist you name it the blue fog is the department the agency whatever you want to call it within the cause that decides these things but then the, within the blue fog department agency within that department there are many departments this thing spreads like a wildfire so i will explain to you what the blue fog is but in detail but not now maybe in, in a year and what did they tell me well they tell me it's time to take the information we give to you because like i told you a million times I, I don't like to call it videos. I like to call it information, pieces of information. Videos are cheap. Everybody makes videos about their dogs, their cats, their singing, their whatever they do. The Blue Fog is like a news agency for the Caristos. And then they carry to spread the word about what they know. And how do they spread the word about what they know? Through me. Through me. So, the Blue Fog decided that from now on, we'll not make, you know, videos about alien races that last one hour, 30 minutes, or two hours. Or information about the cause that like videos. Pieces of information that like last one hour. No, no, no. That's all over. From now on, the, they want me to make these videos or pieces of information by episodes. And every episode is like four, five, six, two, three chapters. It depends. But short chapters. So, what you're going to see from now on is a change in direction of the way we provide you information so it's not like one video about one alien race one video about a story about my life one video about uh, uh, the cause it's going to be one video meaning one episode with different episodes short episodes so i'll be imagine that today's introduction but uh, next time will be episode one will be Blue Fog, episode 1. How many chapters are going to be in episode 1? I'm not sure, probably 3 or 4. But short, 5 minutes each, sometimes 10, depends on in the information. You know? uh, what are we going to talk about in these uh, uh, chapters? Everything, you know? alien races course we introduce new alien races private stories my private stories uh, maybe some political commentary because everything is connected so we'll talk about stories about the cause what they do uh, we'll explain some um, of the many mysteries most people are still confused about seeking uh, truth about or some never heard about these mysteries we also will give a little bit of advice either unwanted and even unrequested or otherwise I uh, will be exposing and explaining some nasty people, some nasty people, and events. Past, present, and future. 
we'll be making some predictions and explaining why most will come true and how and why. We'll be helping people understand uh, what what it takes to join the cause and how they can do it the path sometimes is very long and how to prepare for it for the path and we'll talk a lot a lot more things some are obvious others are intriguing and by intriguing I mean they all will require some thought sometimes even introspection if you don't like the way we're going to introduce this information just walk away and go visit uh, Disney Town or Disneyland or Disney World or whatever Disney Town uh, better the place for you if I was a betting man I'll stay here but that's up to you as you know for what 18 years I never asked anybody to like to do these days and they've done it for many years well, subscribe and like I don't care about that only if you are open to our information should you subscribe and like or subscribe and hate it doesn't matter now to the historically confused or uninformed or misinformed I'm not sure about the, the term to the simple-minded to the herd followers like cows or sheep the ones who follow celebrities for celebrities sake and to the ones that just obey types of people well in that case you know Charles Charles Darwin explains most of your questions Charles Darwin and his uh, you know, theory of evolution he explains most of your questions if you're not a follower of Charles Darwin follow us or follow nobody follow yourself uh, I know that if you are following our information you are not one of these unless of course you are one of these and you are just here out of hatred because you hate us or hate me or hate the cause in this case that's great keep following we like we like to keep up with uh, our enemies within range the closer our enemies are the easier it is for them to get them you know and uh, that's all I wanted to tell you today the things I want to change in this channel this the kind of information and uh, no, at the end of the day, nothing will change for now. The world will go round and round until it doesn't. Uh, but there's still a very, very long time until this happens. Until the world stops going round and round. And then we move on to another place. I have brought much happiness to many people, many people, in the last 18, 19 years. Millions of people. I have saved them many from suicidal thoughts and suicide actions themselves, itself. Many people. 
thought about killing themselves they didn't because of our information because of my message or just sometimes because of me or because of the cause I have saved many people who some of them did not deserve to be saved why because they will need these lessons of love attention and kindness on their next lives as you know this channel is the truth and the truth is reincarnation reincarnation is at the center of this channel the goddess of course the cause the karish and everything that's going on but in the center it's reincarnation always has been since the beginning These people I brought a lot of happiness and saved their lives. They will need this, these lessons that I taught them in this life or helped them in the next life. They will need these, these lessons of uh, kindness on their next lives. Be why? Because on the next lives, I know some of them the ones I gave them that, these lessons of love, they'll be cruel people. You know, they'll be like the next Hitler. They'll be cruel people. But the lessons of kindness and love I'm giving them now, they will take with them to the next lives. And that will help save many lives. Even if they kill 10 million they will not kill 50 million. Hmm? At the same time, in this life, this one that I'm living right now, I have also brought pain and suffering to very good people who did not deserve pain and suffering in this life. But I brought pain and suffering into their lives. Why? Because the lessons of today will help them survive on their next lives. On their next lives. The memories, the memories they will carry in their souls from this life will help them survive their next lives survive and then help others help others helping others understand the importance of pain and love of suffering and happiness until one day until one day, none of these lessons will be necessary to teach or to pass on to the next life. Hmm? This, this galaxy, this planet, the goddess, this goddess, the charistus, the cause, the flesh, and the matter, this history. These stories which span, span millions of years. This will have an end. This will have an end. Finito. The end. And then something else. Something new. Will begin. Be safe. Cheers. And uh, don't visit me in Ukraine. I have missiles falling around me all the time. I don't think you want to. You don't want to experience that kind of reality. Cheers. So Ceausescu told me to land right away. Where I said on the military airbase nearby. No, he told me near the road.
Then he looked at me and he asked me for the third time, are you serving the cause? So I answered, what cause? I want to be in the Piazza del Campo in Siena to feel the surge as 10 racehorses go thundering by. I want another meal in Paris at Lampossi in the Place des Vosges. I want another bottle of wine and then another. stand on summits and smoke Cubans and feel the sun on my face for as long as I can. Walk on the wall again. Climb the tower, ride the river, stare at the frescoes. I want to sit in the garden and read one more good book. Азазель, Азазель, что еще за Азазель на нашу голову?
сказано в книге Иноха. Азазель проникся любовью к людям и открыл им тайны, узнанные на небесах. Азазель проникся любовью к людям. Сказано в книге Иноха. Азазель проникся любовью к людям и открыл им тайны, узнанные на небесах. I want to tell you a story. All you have to do is listen. Hell 
also have this. Азазель, Азазель, что еще за Азазель на нашу голову? Be safe. Cheers. And uh, don't visit me in Ukraine. I have missiles falling around me all the time. I don't think you want to, you don't want to experience that kind of reality. Cheers. You have no idea what's going on. In our world, there are people we do not see. Their land is unknown. We know nothing about it except that it is buried. It is said that their emergence depends on one condition, a centuries-old excavation. All humans fear their evil. They fought two notorious wars and took captives. And now we await the last and bloodiest war, the enigmatic tale of Gog and Magog, a mysterious and terrifying secret that signifies the end of times. Everything. You've ever heard about the story and the history of Gog and Magog? It's bullshit. All bullshit. 100% bullshit. Just, well, not 100%, 90%. Because things were you know, transferred from generation to generation. So there's parts of the story that are true, other parts not so true. Most of it. 90% just bullshit. Just imagination and counter information. Misinformation. But finally, you will know the truth about Gog and Magog and a few other things. So stick around. Next episode of the Blue Fog. One of the chapters, probably the longest one, will be about this. The Gog and Magog. So stick around if you want. If you don't want, that's none of my business. Cheers. These are the people of Gog and Magog, and knowledge about them belongs to God. I await your comments below. You wait for my comment below? Here's mine. Just a YouTuber coming up with stuff. I'll tell you the truth with evidence with evidence. Cheers. See you soon. I want to tell you a story. All you have to do is listen.